I don't think it matters that it's not someone you know or someone that your friend knows. Um, it, it is someone that, that some people know and love. So in history, human beings have been most powerful when they've come together to try and challenge the injustices and inequalities of that time. And that's why I think it's so exciting that um, given what we can, we see a community of people also coming together to try and find out how to make a much more impactful and effective difference. It became a lot more real for me that this is actually something that could have a massive impact because tons of students are really kind of passionate about it. Like most people, I feel self-conscious about talking about my giving, so I used to be private about the pledge of my donations. Since finishing university, I've worked for organisations as a campaigner, I've also worked as a journalist um, investigating human rights issues, and I've also worked as a translator. And I guess the common thread throughout all the things that I've done has also just been a kind of a similar um, relationship to the pledge. It's part of a commitment to try and use the very limited amount of time and energy I have on the planet to try and make it at least a little bit better. Several years ago I went to Peru for three months and taught English at a secondary school and while I had a great time doing it and, and learned a lot from it I'm not sure how much impact I had, how much good I did for the people I was working with. And that experience made me a bit dubious about charity. A few years later at university, I came across organisations like Giving What We Can. And those organisations have found that there are some charities which have an enormously positive impact on the poorest people in the world. And finding that out gave me confidence that, that giving could do a huge amount of good. Um, and, and that led me to take the pledge. I read an amazing story about Sir Nicholas Winton, uh, an English stockbroker who went to Czechoslovakia in 1939. Uh, he could see what was happening uh, to Jewish people in the ghettos. He desperately wanted to do as much as he could, so he arranged trains to transport Jewish children out of Czechoslovakia. He managed to transport over 900 children. He saved all those children's lives and I hope in some small way that I'm emulating him through my donations. I mean, I'm a tremendously fortunate person. Uh, my entire life I've never lived through any hunger. I've never been displaced from my home. Um, I've never lived through any kind of suffering. I've always had access to healthcare and I've been blessed with the biggest privilege of all, which is the privilege of love. I was raised in an incredibly loving and incredibly caring family that always supported me. And as a kid, their teachings taught me that there were many other people in the world who didn't have what I had, simply because of the luck of being born in another country. Um, they did not enjoy the kind of enormous benefits and privileges I have. I chose to take the pledge at the beginning of my career. Um, I think there are lots of problems that are very immediate. The second reason I took the pledge at the beginning of my career was because I didn't think I would miss the money then. Um, I'd never previously had an income and there would always have been something else to spend the money on, like a, a nicer car for example. By being used to donating 10%, I think um, I'm much more likely to be able to keep it up for the rest of my life. Taking the pledge hasn't reduced my quality of life. I have a wife and twin boys and we enjoy the simple pleasures we always used to. The fulfilment I feel from helping the world's poorest people far outweighs the sacrifice of some luxuries that we can easily do without. When I first signed the pledge I was really excited um, and it felt really great to be donating to effective causes. Um, now it's become, it feels like a much more normal part of my life. I find it much easier to give away at least 10% knowing that good evidence exists that donations to the Against Malaria Foundation save lives for just over £2,000. I used to be an investment manager and I think this is the best investment I've ever made. Since I took the pledge, a lot of people have asked me how you analyse how effective a charity is. And one way that, given what we can, do that is they look at what impact an intervention has on people's quality of life or, or on how many lives that intervention saves. And I think initially when you hear that you think it sounds a bit cold. Um, but the more I've thought about it, the more I've discussed it with people, the, the more I've realised it 
it's not cold at all. I'm sure a lot of you know people who, who've died too young. I certainly do. And when I think about what I would have done if I could have to, to prevent that from happening, you know, I think I'd have given up almost anything if it would have stopped that from happening. And that kind of brings home for me what saving a life is about, like how, what a big deal saving a life is. Um, and the realisation that you can do that through effective giving, it, it is amazing. Um, and I don't think it matters that it's not someone you know or someone that your friend knows. Um, it, it is someone that, that some people know and love and will, will grieve for. Um, and, and that's what the pledge is all about, really. When they've done studies about people on their deathbed, right, the top regret people have it's A, doing stuff they didn't like, B, not contributing much to society, and, and C, not spending enough time with the people they loved. And I think so many of us make decisions in the short term based often about things related to our ego and our sense of insecurity. But actually saying, making a commitment at a young age and saying, look, I'm going to give as much as possible of my time and money away to try and help people, many people that I don't know, is one of the best things that you can do to actually make sure that when you leave this planet, and whenever it may be, that you've actually left something behind.